New details in a Target 12 investigators exclusive thrill kill. A man convicted of murdering a Winsocket woman 13 years ago is getting released from prison decades early. Police say Alfred Brissett and another man beat a woman to death just to see how it felt to kill. Target 12 investigator Tim White first broke this story yesterday. He continues to search for answers. He joins us now with the latest on this shocking case. A decision by the parole board means Alfred Brissett will have served only 13 years of a 35-year sentence. We can't tell you where he's going to live when he gets out because the parole board tells us they can't release that information. It was a horrifying crime that took place deep in these woods of Boroughville. Alfred Brissett and Mark Gerard lured 38-year-old Jeanette Dakoto from Winsocket with the promise of drugs. Court records show the two men had been talking about killing a woman at random for months. Brissett, according to records, even bought a shovel to dig a grave. In June 1999, Brissett and Gerard beat Dakoto repeatedly with a lug wrench, shovel, and fists. She begged for her life and even ran from them, but they caught up. Gerard, police say, dealt the fatal blow. He remains behind bars. As for Brissett, records indicate he earned 1,600 days of good time for being a model inmate at the ACI, moving his release date from 2034 to 2028. Then, just this month, the Rhode Island Parole Board voted to let him out in December. We reached out to each member of the parole board to ask, why they voted the way they did. We were referred to an administrator who released a statement that says in part, they were impressed with Brissett's rehabilitation and his plan for life on the outside, which he's supposed to submit to the board. So what does that plan look like? We can't tell you. According to the parole board's website, parole board records are exempt from public disclosure since these records contain personal or medical information relating to an individual. We asked anyway, and we're told they cannot release the information. According to the website, Brissett will be under the watchful eye of a parole officer. We also asked if Brissett, who took classes behind bars, would continue his education on the outside. The administrator tells us Alfred Brissett has taken his education very seriously while incarcerated. We cannot guarantee where Mr. Brissett will be continuing his education once released. I spoke to the ex-wife of Alfred Brissett, who asked not to be identified by name. She tells me she was never notified that Brissett was going to be released and is horrified that it's happening. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.